Internet Information Services Manager up here and I've set up a website called Mock P270 and if we want to we can browse it here on the web you can see it's set up on port 8088 okay or if we want to we could explore it using the Windows Explorer and you can see the directory that it's in I'm on the C drive over here in the public documents area I've created this folder and inside of there I've got a, a simple HTML file. There's also, you might have noticed a little JavaScript in there that, that just happens to be part of this folder. It's not playing a role in what we're doing here at all. So let's make sure that we do have um, CGI installed on the system since we um, aren't going to get very far without that. So we'll bring up the control panel and I'll come over here to programs and I'll choose turn Windows features on and off and that brings up this little dialog here <coughs> and we'll open up the Internet Information Services, the World Wide Web Services, Application Development Features, and you can see that I do have CGI turned on on my system, and if you don't have it turned on yet, you should do the same thing, so that CGI is running on your system. Then that's all you need to do with that tool, so you can go ahead and close that. We'll go back here now into the Internet Information Servers, Services, and you can see that um, right now we've got one folder called back here right now and I, I'm just gonna go over here to the Windows Explorer and I'm gonna create a new folder <clears throat> and I'm gonna call that folder CGI bin which is a traditional name for folders that are used for this purpose uh, for running scripts and for any type of script but a, in our case Python script in particular when we come back in here we don't see that folder right away so we right click and choose refresh and now there's our folder now we want to set up that folder as an application okay and the application that will run is Python so we click on this node the top node the one that where we want to set the application up on and we choose add application and then we browse to a particular path and we'll go out there to the uh, um, place where we've set up this folder and we'll select it and now you can see that folder on the C drive and the public documents is set up um, choosing and we'll call this thing alias we'll keep that traditional name of CGI bin here running so now when we're done you can see that this directory's got a special look it's set up as an application now we need to in side of that we need to tell the Internet Information Services that this application is going to run Python scripts so we want to set up what's called a handler mapping so this node is selected over here in the connections pane and I select handler mappings here and I bring up this particular view and I choose add script map way up here on the upper right hand corner I choose add script map and it's looking for a path which is uh, sort of an odd name for it but what they want is what types of files do we want to when we see Python files and we want this request to be fulfilled now we need to find the executable that we're working with here's where I've installed Python and by default it looks for DLLs so we tell it to look for EXEs see by default over here it was looking for DLLs we tell it look for EXEs and here's our python.exe so we choose that so now that's set up then it wants little percent s's percent s I believe for handling parameters here and down here we say what kind of a mapping we're setting up and this is our Python mapping so we give it a name and we click on OK and it says do we want to deal with ISAPI um, extensions and we don't in our case so now we have this new node that we've added here and when we did that it's sort of interesting to see what was happening behind the scenes um, this web.config file was open was created and if you look at it you can see that it has all the information we just passed into it here's our Python Python did exe with pass so in other words it's this web config file that um, that really ends up being the tool that that tells IIS do something special in this directory that's exactly the same way that URL rewriting works it things get configured inside this directory if you want to change your default extension it's these web config files that hold that kind of information URL rewriting um, <coughs> default uh, file or in this case our Python scripting um, 
CGI information is being done right here. So now the next thing we want to do is create a script of some kind. So I'm going to select my editor of choice here <clears throat> and right here I'm going to bring up uh, Notepad++ and I've got here a simple script, um, a Python script and as you can see up here I declare it's got an extension of .py, it's got uh, it links in the Python files. I print out what kind of file, um, text file I'm going to create here. It's a text.html, set the content type. I put in an HTML, a head section, a title, body. I put in an H1 node, P node here, close my body tag, close my HTML tag, and you can see I use the Python print command for each of these to output all of this to the console which is being redirected of course across uh, an HTTP server and out to your browser. So I'll go ahead and I'll save this simple script here into the directory where we've been working which is um, as you recall it was right here in our Mach 270 here's our CGI bin directory and I'll just call this thing um, my Python script dot py so now if I uh, look inside my directory there's my script and then over here I've got my HTML file now we've got a number of choices about how we um, create a link to this file I'm gonna do it in expression web that's just my editor of choice here um, it doesn't matter you could do it all play in a plain text editor however you want to set up the link so I'm editing default.html inside some random editor here and what I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and I'll just type in run Python script and then what you want to do is set that up as a hyperlink that goes to your py file to your Python script and I'll go ahead and go to the CGI bin directory choose my Python script and now you can see what I've got here I've got an H uh, anchor tag with an href pointing at my Python script relative to the current directory and um, then I'm fine here now I'm just gonna run uh, I'm gonna load up Chrome which is the default browser right now in Expression Web when, it, when I go test with it and you can see I've gone to localhost 8088 default.html everything looks the same except we've added this tag which now points at the Python script and if I click on it there it ran our Python script and here's the output that we would expect to see if you think about it let's look here for a second back at our notepad plus plus here's the content that's being printed out it says h1 is a first CGI example in hello CGI world and we could maybe modify it slightly from Python here and we'll come back and refresh our script by pressing F5 and there's our script it's running everything's set up and we're working it now we can go to town and start writing Python scripts and they'll run uh, smoothly here uh, notice that I am running on off localhost 8088 um, for those of you who do happen to be interested in um, Expression Web, and as I say, the editor you choose here is your choice. In Expression Web, you would go to Site Settings and Preview and point it at localhost 8088 so that when you press F12, it'll run it not as a file. Um, you don't want that file slash 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 business in your, in your 